what's good you guys welcome to video number two for this video we're going to be breaking down a guitar loop something that could be for roddy rich and his new project feed the streets three so this one's going to be crazy you definitely want to tune in let's get right into it so i'm going to play the final loop for you right now um this is what it sounds like first sound is that I made was the guitar sound um, the VST I used was called real guitar um, I like it I like it I feel like there might be something better out there but like I fuck with it it works so all right so here's the pattern for the guitar uh, it's pretty simple really um, so this is what it sounds like So something bouncy, uh, repetitive, but you know, easy to listen to. It's nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, it was really simple. I started with these notes right here. And then I added these little filler notes right here just to, just to make it the rhythm a little bit better. Um, so, uh, and then I added a couple uh, notes up here on the top. I think that end of the pattern is what really like sets it off. Like it just ends it really good. Um, so it doesn't get too repetitive and it just like, it's a nice transition to the beginning of the loop again. And all I did for that was just add in more filler notes. So like I said, I just started it real simple with these three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I just played around with it. I just put in, uh, honestly, it's kind of just putting in random notes, hoping it sounds good and just like, just keep working on it. It's gonna get right if you just use your ear and just keep trying something, um, something that sounds good is gonna come out from it. So on the mixer track, just on the mixer track, just super simple Valhalla some portal that I don't even think you can really hear um, and then RC20 all right so the next sound that I added was actually a, a bass guitar I feel like with these types of loops if you add a bass guitar it really adds a lot to it and it makes it sound so much more like a real sample so I think it really really uh, makes a big difference in it so here here's the pattern so really simple I pretty much just went along with the bass line. Um, I'm pretty sure if you go back to the guitar, um, my first loop or my first pattern, um, you can see that these are the same bass notes that I used in that pattern too. So I pretty much just copy and pasted it. Um, the next sound, this is maybe my favorite sound. It, this is my favorite sound of the loop um, is the flute. So here's the pattern. And I think, I think I'm, I'm not positive, but I think this is called like call and return or something like that. I, f I forget the right term for it, but it's like you have three notes that go down right here and then three notes answer it down over here. And if someone knows the right term for that, I know that was wrong. So if someone knows it, comment down below. But, um, but yeah, this, this flute really helps the loop just catch your ear right off the bat. Cause it's like this little, uh, these three notes right here it's right off the right off the bat right when the loop starts you know what i mean so um definitely love that part of the the loop all right so the next next sound i'm break down is a percussion loop this one definitely adds a lot more bounce to it it already has some good bounce but this percussion loop really adds just that extra emphasis on it and um i love it this is from producer grind um this is what it sounds like So, I mean, you got the birds, you got the little chimes in the background, you got the percussion on top of it. Like, this is probably my favorite percussion loop that I got. 
um and it just it just sounds so good that chimes with the with the birds and the flute and the and the guitar it just sounds so magical you know like some lord of the rings type of stuff so the next sound that i had was this producer grind um accent that i use so re really simple but i just added that i think just to add a little bit more um vibe to it a little more ambiance um and then this is probably the next best sound that i did um is this vocal um and i actually got it from splice and what i did was i chopped it up um this obviously wasn't how it came so i chopped it up just a little bit um i probably moved some pieces around as well um but this is what it sounds like <laughs> And on, on that, um, I got some uh, Valhalla uh, love filter, um, delay, and then some EQ. So nothing too crazy. And that was it. That was that was the loop. Um, I told you it's like just a few parts to it, but they just all work so well together, and it's just a vibe when they when they're all together. So um, for the final loop, I just uh, pitched it up just a little bit. And uh, once again, I'll play it. This is what it sounds like. All right, so that's it. That's the whole loop. Um, appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, definitely look out for video number three coming soon.